Hello traders, Gary Wagner here. Just about 10 o'clock in Honolulu, four o'clock in New York. It is Tuesday, 11th day of October, 2016. And this is the daily report for gold and silver. On the surface, it might not look as though gold traded up today, which it certainly did not. Closing off about $5.50 when we look at COMEX futures, 1254.90. That is our current settlement price with a high of 1264 and a low of 1254. However, the real story is the dollar, dollar strength, and gold actually fared pretty well. You'll see that as we pull up our first chart, as well as take a look at the Kitco Gold Index. When we look at spot gold, currently trading off about $6.30 at twelve fifty three. Moving on to silver, silver is trading lower today off about a full percent, 0.9 tenths, down about 16 cents at 17.61. That of course is spot. And then when we look at uh, silver futures, COMEX futures, down 17 cents so traders, absolutely no doubt, we did see precious metals under pressure today, closing lower on the day. As I said, when we looked at uh, gold, specifically spot gold, off about uh, $3.90 to about $5. But the real picture, at least for today, has been dollar strength. I'm putting up the Kitco Gold Index right now. You can see it at the lower uh, right-hand side of your screen. And this is when I took a screen print and gold was trading down 390. At that point, it was, and this is spot 1255.50. When you accounted for a, a strengthening US dollar, you actually had to subtract almost $10, $9.95. That's how strong the uh, US dollar was today. But in normal trading, at least with gold, in normal trading, that was actually bid up about $6. And so the net change is about $3.90 to the downside. Now, the same cannot be said with silver. And to illustrate that point, I've pulled up our current silver chart, currently trading at 1744. I've updated the Kitco Gold Index screen print. And as you can see, silver's a little bit different. Now, the dollar, obviously strong, bringing silver prices down about 14 cents. The beginning price, of course, 1744 is the last settlement price. But we also had selling in the market rather than buying another additional three cents to give us our net change of down 17 on the day. So traders, with all of that in mind, what are we to make of the current scenario that we are witnessing in the precious metals markets? Well, the first thing in terms of gold is that we know we're at a critical level and the market has to, has to hold this particular level that we have identified. It's a double fib number in which we are looking at two unique uh, fib ratios one coming in from about 1200 to about uh, 1375 the other one beginning at these historical lows at, i should say for the year at about 1050 coming up to the same price this of course is a 38 percent retracement and 38 percent retracement of this big move and then this down here this is a 78 percent retracement because we've absolutely far exceeded the 61 percent retracement so when we consider that the market beginning of the year moved up from 1050 to 1375 and then came down but held this particular price point right in here we can still make a case for a bullish scenario however before we take any kind of stab at the market absolutely we've got to see some bottom formation some technical confirmation that a bottom is at hand there's a couple of ways to do it whether it is Hankinashi charts with Japanese average which would tend to lag which is why I depend on really candlestick patterns to give us that key uh, pivot point and what I mean by that pivot point is as a market comes down there's some genuine activity that you'll find at the bottom that gives you that V meaning before the market actually or when the market actually bottoms out and then reverses and it's that pattern that we would find right in here that I'm looking for whether it's an engulfing bullish a piercing line a three river morning star a bullish harami just to name some of the more common patterns those are the types of things that we're looking at and until we get some sort of technical confirmation 
uh, that we have that key pivot point or reversal, really what we're looking for at this point is just to determine whether or not this particular price point right here, meaning the relationship between about 1240 and about 1250, if this area holds, because that is what is critically important. And traders, finally, as it pertains to gold, I've pulled up a weekly chart. Weekly chart is in bar chart format because I simply really want to focus on the lows of the market here as well as activity this week. Obviously, we're not looking at what we saw last week, which was an absolute utter meltdown. But hey, this is only Tuesday, so we could see the market drift lower. The key to me is this week. As long as we see some sort of a recovery and the market uh, trading above this particular price point that we identified, a uh, 1240, 1238, that is a 78% retracement of this move here. We can still make a case for our bullish models. However, if the market breaks below this particular price point, all bets are off. So we are still in a holding pattern until we can determine exactly uh, where this market wants to go and most importantly, whether or not these particular lows will hold. And traders, as far as silver goes, and I touched upon this a little bit yesterday, uh, but that's a fact that when you create this long standing support line by simply lining up these lows in the market and then carrying that forward, of course, uh, you get a major support line, which was breached and broken uh, last week, late last week. And so, as I said yesterday, for me to be bullish on silver, I really have to see a trade and close above this particular price point. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you, as always, good trading. We'll talk to you tomorrow for another daily update and review. Bye-bye.